I don't know, to be blunt, the, 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 the practicum supervision experiences are set up to not be ideal for most people. Um, so like, how are you all trying to stack the deck and, and make this really unique? Yeah, this was, this was, I think this was your brilliant idea, Michelle. So you, <laughs> you brag about it. <laughs> yeah, this, I think also started in that, that conversation in my backyard. Um, we need to have more of those, <laughs> but it, it occurred to me that there are so many different skills that students need to learn. Um, Odessa mentioned it earlier. They need to be good supervisors. They need to be good clinical case managers. They need to be able to conduct training and evaluate that training. Um, and so we kind of pulled from the medical school model of having students do rotations. Um, moving from discipline to discipline and spending a semester in each one with faculty supervision, getting experience. So one semester of practicum, they'll teach an undergraduate class with our support and really learn how to teach these concepts to people who are not familiar with them. They'll spend a semester doing clinical case management for a client that's being served um, and they'll spend a semester conducting research and really learning how to collect that data and analyze it for themselves. Um, and then as they get more experience in those different disciplines, they'll move into a more in intensive um, internship experience where basically we hand them the reins of uh, some clinical service and they're handling the scheduling, they're handling the budgets, they're taking phone calls from parents and doing the supervision for staff. Um, and we're overseeing all of that, but they're getting that experience of what it takes day to day to, to do all of that. Uh, you know, the benefit really speaks to one of the myths of the PsyD, which is you, you know, you're pigeonholed when you, when you get that degree and what you can do. We really wanted to make sure that um, you have the opportunity to still get into academia with this ID. And so with the rotations between the teaching and the research rotations, you have a background in it. You will teach a class. You're going to be the instructor of record. When you do research, the goal is to have that be publishable, or at least the very least, uh, you know, be at a conference presentation. So we'll build that, that CV, we'll build that, that resume for you so that more options are available to you. Um, because we need, you know, practitioner minded, uh, you know, uh, professors coming in to teach, especially at like the undergraduate and uh, master's level. Which I think is what makes our program unique because we all teach undergraduate ABA classes. And so the future PsyD students are going to be helping us teach those ABA classes and not every institution allows their PhD students to do so. Like um, in my um, alma mater, I, you know, I taught classes in cognitive psychology or TA for classes in cognitive psychology or sensation and perception, though interesting um, and taught me a lot. It wasn't necessarily um, the field that I wanted to go into. And sometimes as a student, that student experience, is, it felt like a waste of time because I, I was learning a lot of these um, these things that I, I knew I probably wouldn't be applying to my clients or really um, in my you know future um, as a, an academic faculty member. So, uh, you know, if you can teach undergraduates um, principles of behavior, or, you know, interventions or implementation or assessments, um, you'll be able to teach staff right um, at your your clinic or um, wherever you practice. Hey, so this is just one of a series of videos that were sponsored by St. Cloud. Big shout out to them. They help me make more content, but this is just fantastic stuff that the field of behavior analysis really needs. If you want to contact them, you can actually book a Zoom session with the program coordinator. Sounds crazy. Yes, you can talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. There's also a link to learn more. Meet the team and then learn about that. So I'm Benjamin Witz and I'm a professor at St. Cloud State University. I'm the program coordinator. I oversee the, the master's programs uh, and the PsyD program, and I teach in the undergraduate programs as well. Michelle Traub, uh, assistant professor at St. Cloud State in the ABA program. Um, I also teach in the undergrad. I am the verified course sequence coordinator. I'm Odessa Luna. I am an assistant professor here in the ABA program at St. Cloud State. Uh, and 
and this is my second uh, year or going into my second year here. So the newest faculty member. The best thing to do is email me. We'll set up a time to chat over Zoom or something like that. Um, you know, I find emails are impersonal, web forms are impersonal, you know, graduate school is all about you as a person and, and fit and you only get that in a conversation. That's great. I don't know anyone else that offers that. It wasn't offered when I went through my program, so. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. That's your Daily BA. Thank you.